So let's take a start. Your topic is discussion. And my first question is, what would you like to talk about? To be honest, I like to talk about politics. Good. Because I'm of keen interest in politics in Pakistan as compared to other countries. So it makes me very uh, interesting to hear about different politicians in Pakistan. Okay, it makes me interesting is not right grammatically. You can say uh, it gives me a good feeling whenever I discuss politics of my country because I have a very strong political opinion. So whenever I discuss that political opinion with others, they really appreciate that. So usually I would like to talk about politics or it can be weather or it can be fashion, any simple thing, whatever you want. Have your discussion topics changed since you were a child? Yes, to be honest, uh, I have my discussion knew, topics my discussion have topic changed, changed since I was, since a, child. I was a child. And now you say when I was a child, I used to discuss and now I discuss. Comparison karne hai na? When I was a child, I used to discuss uh, of uh, different cartoons cartoon characters. Okay. Nowadays my discussion topics are more mature and they are related to political systems and economical systems overall in Pakistan. Okay. All right. That's good. Do you change your opinion frequently? To be honest, no, I don't change my opinion because once I have made my opinion, it, it is based on some uh, facts and figures in my research. Then I uh, make my opinion okay so i don't change my opinion once i have made my mind yeah for change you can use the word alter change my mind or alter my opinion a variety of words will improve your bench score uh, do you prefer to talk or to listen to be honest i prefer to listen because from listening you get more knowledge and you get things learned by others, then you are one day able to speak on those topics as well. Okay, that's good. So just add a couple of sentences to your answers. Number one. Number two, focus your fluency. Fluency means you're not thinking too much to answer the question, right? And that is only possible. For example, if I ask you a question, what's your daily routine? You no, will answer. You will produce the, let, let me finish. You will produce the answer. Every morning I wake up, then next day I ask you, what's your daily routine? Third time, fourth time, fifth time, tenth time when I ask you, what is your daily routine? Your eyes will be closed and you'll be telling me all that, right? So all these questions which we have in this book, you need to practice repetitively so that you can answer them very, very comfortably. Yes, you were saying something? Basically, the mic is a uh, hesitation for me. To Come speak on. Fluidly, yes. Don't worry, don't worry. We don't have a now mic and their examiner. Okay. Right, so examiner is more ferocious than Mike. Okay, so just just learn it. Right, I'm just trying to give you that environment and feeling and all that. Uh, okay, one last question: uh, Do you think you talk too much? Uh, no, people calls me introvert. I'm not talkative too much. Uh, so I think I don't talk too much. Okay, now you need to add a couple of sentences to that. You know, because you know your sentence is, I don't talk too much, again something, and I don't talk too much. So you need to use a variety of words. For example, do you think you talk too much? No, I don't talk very much. In fact, as I mentioned before, I love to listen. So therefore, whenever with my friends, I mostly listen. Yes, if anybody asks me anything, then only I participate in a conversation. Otherwise, I mostly listen. I prefer to be Yeah, but, but if you say, I don't talk too much. Yes, with, with my friends, I don't talk too much. I don't talk. That will be repetition. So try to expand your answer relative uh, 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 according to the question and then come back to that. Right? That's important. Thank you. But you can do it. You have the potential. Yeah, you can climb the tree. Thank you. If you don't know how to climb the tree now, learn it. But you can climb the tree. Exactly. So, tidiness is your topic. And my first question is, are you a tidy person? Uh, I think so. I am a tidy person because I like things to be accurate and arranged in my daily living. So, I think, yes, I like... So, yes, yeah, so you said, therefore, I would call myself a tidy person. Good. How do you keep things tidy? 
uh, actually i don't have uh, so much time in my daily life to keep uh, keep the things arranged for me but i have a lot of people in my house to keep that that thing done for me uh, they arrange my clothes and everything and my books my shoes and everything else so they arrange everything for me in my daily living okay do you think people should be tidy all the time i think people should stay tidy because uh, it uh, actually save your life it saves it, it saves your time while going out or some doing something if you are not arranged everything you will be searching for a particular thing at a particular time so it's yes it's better for you or everyone else to be a tidy a person good uh, are you tidier at work or at home i think i am more tidier at work because i uh, have more and tidier will not come okay. together tidier means okay. more tidy so let, let's again let's do it again are you tidier outside or at home i think i am more uh, i am tidier, tidier. At, at work because i have to do some professional work i am living and working with professional persons and so i have to do uh, things properly in the daily living okay what do you think about untidy people uh that's a difficult question the untidy people have a lot of different uh, issues in their life because uh, listen 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 <laughs> what do you think about untidy people well i don't feel good about untidy people these are the people who have no manners so whenever i find anyone untidy i don't feel good about them that's it okay don't just find the reasons okay. and acha main kaise feel karta hu not like that answer again how do you feel about untidy people i i don't really don't like people being untidy uh, because they are not working properly in the daily living and they are not up to mark and their life is like scrambled around. okay so one more thing one advice for you in ielts speaking do not use present continuous unless they ask you a question in present continuous so for example people are doing people are working instead of that you should say people work people do right unless the question is in present continuous tense then you can same is the case with ielts writing instead of present uh, continuous you should use present simple tense right okay that's good thank you but you got the potential keep it up right